And I'm Julie Bragg. Our top story, several staff members at the Richmond Registrar's Office diagnosed with the coronavirus. Our Jake Burns has been tracking the story and he joins us now live. And Jake, could this impact any election results in the city as far as we know? Well, Rob, the top official here at the registrar's office says actually, no, it has not. More on that in just a little bit. But we do know that Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney is isolating now after a member of his campaign staff tested positive. That person apparently was exposed here at the Richmond registrar's office. Three employees at the Richmond Registrar's Office have tested positive for COVID-19 and all were in the building during election week, per officials. It is my understanding that the concerning infectious period, according to our COVID-19 coordinator, would have been Monday and Tuesday. General Registrar Kirk Showalter says some voters and members of various campaigns were in their office during that time frame before the first positive case was confirmed and reported on Friday. But whether or not they came in contact with this particular individual and were within six feet of this individual for 15 minutes or more is the question. Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney is now in isolation. A member of his campaign team tested positive after spending time in the registrar's office last week. The mayor saying in a statement, quote, this should serve as a sobering reminder that the pandemic is very real. Just because it's not in the headlines doesn't mean it's no longer a threat. Please monitor yourself for symptoms and take advantage of the resources offered by our health district. If anybody was in the building on Monday and is exhibiting symptoms and is concerned, there is free COVID testing. They can go online and find uh, all sorts of sites around the city. Virginia election officials spend the week after Election Day validating results. Work Showalter says her office expects to mostly complete by Tuesday even with 90% of her staff in quarantine. We do have a few staff members not impacted and they will be opening the office and working on a skeleton staff. It does not impact the central absentee team. They were pretty much sequestered. They have continued to work on the election results through the weekend. Now, Showalter says they do expect to finalize many of the results by Tuesday, but coming up tonight at 6, we'll tell you how they'll handle nearly 1,000 provisional ballots that still need to be processed. Plus, here why Showalter says it is not likely about uh, that someone would be exposed in the office moving forward. Working for you in Richmond, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News.